Hey guys, Novo Nordisk just had their recent earnings call. It was a little bit of a stumble. Question is, is it just a bump in the road or is this a warning sign for investors? So what we're talking about in this video, let's hit it. Hey guys, Novo Nordisk is a leading pharmaceutical company known for its popular diabetes treatments, Ozimbic, and their weight loss drug, Wegovi. Company recently posted its latest earnings resort, uh, report, which actually fell short of Wall Street's expectations, which led to a drop in the stock price. And big question is, is this a cause for concern? Well, let's look at the recent earnings performance because the numbers always tell us the answer. Company achieved 25% year-over-year growth in net sales, okay? 25% growth, net sales, rising to 68.1 billion Danish Kron, which is about $9.9 .9 billion. When it comes to profit, the bottom line growth was modest, only 3%, reaching 20.1 billion, billion Danish Kron, about $2.9 billion. Analysts expected profits around 20.9 billion Danish Kron, so this was a slight miss. Here's the key factors, guys, that are impacting the earnings. First of all, there was a significant increase in research and development costs. They increased their costs by 127%, including a 5.7 billion Danish Kron impairment charge for the kidney disease drug Osagirn 1. Osagirn 1 failed to meet a primary endpoint in a phase three clinical trial. This was one of the big key factors that affected their ability to hit their earnings target. So they adjusted their financial guidance, again, which led to the big drop. Their operating forecast, uh, their operating profit forecast was reduced. They reduced it from 20 to 28%, um, which was down from their previous 22 to 30% operating profit growth. Their sales growth forecast was actually raised. They raised their forecast for the year. They're now expecting a range of 22 to 28% up from the previous 19 to 27%. So on this note, guys, you look at these numbers, what does it mean? Well, I think that there is a positive outlook for the future when it comes to Novo Nordisk. And guys, I have to say, I'm not an investor in this company. But looking at the numbers, I think that this is still a great company. And I think that it's just a bump in the road, uh, what happened with the earnings call. So we've had some strong performance from key drugs. That's the first reason I think this. Ozimbic, Wegovi, they've seen substantial growth with increases of 36%, 74% respectively at constant exchange rates. So that's, that's the first reason I think that we have uh, a positive outlook when it comes to this company. Second thing is continued investments and expansion. Novo Nordisk is confident in scaling their operations, expanding their capacity, reaching more markets, which will drive future growth. So in conclusion, guys, you put it all together, what you get? This is what you can, these are the considerations that investors have to look at. First of all, you have to have a, the right perspective when it comes to an earnings miss. The earnings miss, the reduced profit forecast are not as concerning as they might appear. When you're a long-term investor, you can't get caught up in the moment. All right, the impairment charge, that's significant, but it's not a reason to be bearish on the stock. Again, long-term investors got to have a long-term mindset. Novo Nordisk's success with blockbuster drugs like Ozimbic, Wegovi, that indicates strong long-term growth prospects. I think we have a lot to see from this company in the future. So actually, I would say right now is an opportunity. If you're interested in this company, in this stock, in this industry, a temporary dip in share price presents a buying opportunity for us as investors. Despite their recent challenges, the stock is up 29% this year with potential for continued growth through the rest of the year. So guys, if, if I was looking to buy this company, 
I would say right now is a great sale that was put on because of that earnings call. That's the perspective that I would look at this because there's nothing wrong inherently with the company. It's just a slow day. It's just an earnings miss. It's not a big, it's a bump in the road. That's my conclusion, guys. It's a bump in the road. Novo Nordisk has a bright future ahead of it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a big like. Leave a comment down below if you agree, disagree with my thoughts. If you think this is a bigger issue than I've made it out to be, let me know down in the comments, guys. And of course, none of this is financial advice. It's just my opinion. All right. So let's have the conversation. Subscribe, guys, if you're not a subscriber. I buy a stock every single week and I make a video all about what stock I'm buying and putting my money into. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video tomorrow. Take it easy and peace.